Okay, guys, welcome. So we are going to do uh, the second lesson with group division using the stamp game. Here I have a problem written down. 3,648 divided by 32. We're going to start with this one. And I already have our dividend set out. Okay, so I'm going to put this right here. So our little marker, maybe a little hard to see on this blue, I'm sorry, but our marker, how about I do this? There, you can see that a little bit better. Our marker is above the thousands, because remember, we always start with the biggest category. Now, we need to make groups of 32. How many thousands do I have? I have three. Can I make groups of 32 out of this? Nah, I can't do that, can I? So we can't do anything with the thousands. So we're going to move down to the hundreds place, okay? Now, now I need to make groups of 32. And guess what? I can. Let me show you how. 32. Okay, because do you remember how many hundreds are in a thousand? 10. So we have 10 hundreds here, 20 hundreds here, 30 hundreds here. So 32 hundreds, okay? Remember, each one of these is worth 10 hundreds. So we have a group of 32 hundreds. Can I make another group of 32 hundreds? No, because I only have four left. So what we're going to do is this time, before writing it on my paper, I'm going to go ahead and just put a one above the hundreds place because that's how many groups we were able to make using the hundreds. Okay, now we're going to move on to our tens. I'm going to move our marker down here. So here... We have four tens here, and then we have four hundreds. How many tens are in a hundred again? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10. 10 tens are in one hundreds. We have 10, 20, 30, 40. We have 44 tens. Okay, so I'm going to make a group of 32 out of our tens. There's a group of 32. Okay. Pretty good. Can we make another one? No. We only have 12 left. Look, there's 10 tens in this hundred, so 10, 11, 12. So we can't make any more groups of 32 with our tens. So how many groups do we make? One. One again. I'm going to put this guy right up there. One. Then I'm going to move my little marker down to my units. So here... We're going to figure out how many units we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight units. How many units are in a 10? Well, 10, right? 10 units in a 10. So 10, 20. How many units are in a 100? Like if I were to count units all the way up to 100, how many would I have? 100, right? Picture your little 100 square. Uh-huh. We have 100 little units in there, okay? So here we actually have 128 units. We can definitely make some groups of 32, can't we? So let's see. It's two. We need some more tens though. So let's go ahead and exchange this hundred. I'm gonna come down here so I can do my exchanging nice and organized. We're gonna exchange this hundred for ten tens. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Put that hundred away. Don't forget to put those hundreds away. So I'm going to scooch this up. So 32. 32. 32. Oh, and look at that. 32. Okay. Three tens, two units. So how many groups of 32 were we able to make this time? One, two, three, four. Four. So if we were to write this on our paper, we have four units, and here's my units place. I'm gonna write that above my units. One, 10, and 100, 114. 
So 3,648 divided by 32 equals 114, okay? Let's do another one. Okay, this time we are going to divide 9,758 by 34, okay? So I'm gonna just kind of put my paper over there. I think we'll be able to, yeah, that'll be good. So our markers are above the thousands place and we have to make groups of 34 with these thousands. Well, how many thousands do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can't make groups of 34 with only nine thousands, right? So we can't make any groups just at a thousands. We can't make a group of 34 just at a thousands. So we're gonna pop down to our hundreds. Let's see if we can make a group of 34 with our hundreds. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundreds. And how many hundreds are in each of these thousands? 10, remember 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. So there's 10 hundreds here. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we have 97 hundreds. We should definitely be able to make a groups, groups of 34 out of 97, right? Let's see how we do. So 30, four, 30, oh look, I only have three left. So I need more hundreds. Where can I get more hundreds from? I can take this and exchange one of my thousands for 10 hundreds. So this problem's gonna have a little bit more exchanging in it. I wanted to go over a problem with lots of exchanging with you. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna put this thousand away. There, there's a 34. Now I can't make any more groups of 34, right? Let's see how many I have left. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. So twenty-nine. That's that's smaller than thirty-four. So I can't make any groups of thirty-four out of this. So we're gonna need to move on. But first, let's see how many groups did we make? One, two. So I'm gonna put a two above my hundreds place. Now we're gonna move on to the tens. All right. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 94, 100, 200. So 294. We're definitely going to be able to make some groups of 34 out of this. So 30, 2, 3, 4. Oops, I got to scoochy scooch my little units over. 34, 30. Oh, I need more tens. Where can I get more tens? One of my hundreds, right? I'm going to do that. Exchange one of my hundreds for ten tens. So four, six, eight, ten. Put the hundred away. Look at that. We can make a group of 34. Oh, I'm bumping things, huh? All right, now, oh, look, I don't have enough hundreds to be able to make another 30. Where can I get more hundreds? Bing, right here. We can exchange a thousand for ten hundreds. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Put this thousand away. Thirty, four. 30. Oh, look, I need more tens. Where can I get more tens? Right here, right? One of these hundreds. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That hundred away. There we go. 30. Four, whoa, now look, I only have two hundreds left. Where can I get more hundreds? I have 1,000 left that I can exchange. So, 
two, four, six, eight, ten. Get that guy away. Thirty. Look at that. Four. Cool. Thirty. Uh oh. What do I need? I need some more tens. I'm gonna exchange this hundred. I wasn't lying when I said there was lots of exchanging, huh? Whoa. Watch out, ten. It's good practice. This is where being really careful and organized and paying attention is gonna come in hand in handy. You gotta be able to keep track of putting things back and taking things out when you need to. 34, and then 30, whoa, that moved everything, four. Now I only have one, two, 10, 20, 22 left. That's smaller than 34, so I can't make any more. Let's see, how many did we make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, there's a lot of groups. I'm gonna put an eight above the tens. And now we're gonna move on to the units. So the nice thing about when we do the units is we can just kind of see the number, can't we? 228, like that. So we should definitely be able to make groups of 34 out of that. We're gonna do tens in units now. So. I don't have enough tens to make 30, do I? I only have 20, so I need to exchange. I'm gonna do that carefully over here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, put that hundred away. Now I can make a group of 34, can't I? 30. Four. Thirty. Four. Thirty-four. I said too many thirty-four, sorry. Thirty-four, thirty-four. <laughs> Let's make another. Thirty. Oh, we don't have any units left. What do we need to do? Exchange. I'm going to do that over here, nice and carefully. 10, nope, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Put that 10 away. Now I have some units, don't I? Am I gonna run out of room? I think I might run out of room. It's a big problem. Hold on, let me shift everything up. Oh, I might do it. Okay, there, we have a little bit more room now. Get reorganized here. I'm gonna put my units I am working with right there and then my tens and my hundreds. So I only have two tens left and I need to make 34. So I'm gonna take my last hundred and I'm gonna exchange. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Put that hundred away. There we go. Finish up that 30. 30, oh look, I only have two units. Where can I get more? One of my tens. I'm gonna exchange. I'm gonna run out of room, you guys. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Put that guy away. Okay, there's a 34. 30, four. Oh, look at that. Oh, we're off camera. I'm gonna pick this up real quick. Because guess what, I don't have enough space. This problem's so big. Um, oh, I had a 10 hiding down here. 30. Oh man, 34. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera as steady as I can. Oh man, there we go, look. Look at that. Let's see, how many groups do we get? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to take a seven, put it up here. I had to squish everything up there. So I, it's a big problem, isn't it? Look at all those stamps we used. So getting into big problems, you might need to print out another thing of stamps and cut them out. But this is our answer. Let me get my paper here. Again, I'm going to try to find everything that I'm supposed to have while only using one hand. So I have seven groups in our units. My marker would work kindly. Okay, seven groups in our units, eight in our tens, two in our hundreds. Look at that big problem. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? It kind of reminds me of like a tile mosaic. That might really be like a cool follow-up project. If you want, if you didn't mind cutting out so many stamps, you could paste it down and color it. That would be absolutely beautiful. Or you could even do it possibly on graph paper if you had enough graph paper to tape together and patience. Okay, so that is two-digit divisor stamp game. I'm absolutely more than happy to Zoom with you to help you work through this. This is a bigger lesson that takes time and practice. You're going to want to have practiced your first stamp game division lesson a couple times with bigger numbers, more exchanging. The more you do that, the easier this is going to be. Don't just jump head first in this. Remember that I'm always saying crawl before you walk, okay? practice put the time into those intro lessons so that by the time you get here you're really just focusing on the new concept rather than focusing on that original concept and a new step okay so that's my lesson seriously guys call me text me email me let's set up some zoom let's do this together okay all right i miss you i think you absolutely are absolutely fantastic keep being fabulous and i will talk to you soon thanks